Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm CNC9. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we are 10 Minutes or Less, so uh, let's start the timer. <laughs> we did it, but ding. So, TNT, uh, in, uh, where was this at? I think this was in another country. <laughs> uh, I don't remember where it was. Sure. But uh, they, a company has decided they were going to try to build a floating home. And cool. they have a prototype of $1.5 million for a prototype of a floating home. They unveiled it, and it started sinking in the water. <laughs> well, Wouldn't they have put it on the water, like, before they decided to unveil it? Like, and made think. sure it, like, hang, hung out? Like, what would be the chances that the second they, like, lifted the curtain, that's when it sunk? Like, it's been hanging out on the water all week, and then and then it sinks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like... It might have been sabotage. We never, oh, can never rule that out. Yeah, the, 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 the land home guys came in and just, yeah. like, popped the pop the floaty underneath yeah their little walrus shaped floaty you know secretly jonas this is a way to uh manipulate the real estate market <laughs> it is it 100 percent is what floating homes yeah because now oh look we can not only charge you for land and tax you on land now we can tax you for coastline or whatever the hell water you like yeah yeah Oh, the implications. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think of the money signs that's kind of triggering your eyes. Buy your own implications. <laughs> buy, buy your own impl the implications. <laughs> I get it. Put a yeah. home in the international waters, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Drag it. Just like you get it put down and you just like Jesus. put it over your shoulder and pull there. You can pull it out to the middle of the sea. Drop your anchor. Ew, yeah, is, that's sounding kind of Epstein-ish. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> A little, little that's really gross. But I guess like the point I was I was coming up with that is like sometimes like things happen like that where like you couldn't plan it to be more ironic or like things that like you you like you're like what are like I couldn't have tried to do that and made that happen and, and like when they when you're in the middle of an NBA game and the ball gets stuck between the billboard and the oh, or not billboard, yeah. the backboard and the rim or it stops on that little ledge on the back, yeah. like when I used to play volleyball all the time, sometimes people would hit the ball, it hit the net, spin onto the top of the net, which is like a quarter inch wide, and then just like ride all the way down the top of the net, spinning and then fall off on the other side. And you're like, you couldn't do that if you tried to do it a thousand times. Is and it illegal to hit the ball if it does that? No, you can as long as as long as you don't hit you you can't hit the net. Okay. The ball can if the ball hits and flips over or whatever. It's all legal. Okay. It's just you personally cannot touch the net. That's okay. that's the rule of volleyball. Fair enough. But like it's so funny how things like that happen, and that like those one off like one in a million shots. Never tell me the odds, Doc. There's one in a million chance, Doc. You talk to any proctologist, they'll tell you that. He drove a brown probe. But um, bumps. <laughs> Isn't that what it goes? I'm pretty sure not. That's that's the joke, dude. I don't know if I've ever experienced anything like so uh, one in a million. I guess. Like, yeah, I've I, never experienced anything great. Like, yeah, I fl I flipped a bottle of water once and it landed on the cap, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> put that on YouTube. I saw it landed on the cap. Yeah. Oh lord, they usually aren't even flat. Yeah, I know, Are you right? A magician? <laughs> They're my magician. <laughs> You're uh, a wizard. No, Jonas, I was just bored. <laughs> uh, I saw this video the other day because, you know, they used to do that water bottle challenge where people would flip the bottles and make them land on the bottom, you know, mm -hmm, for a while mm -hmm. on the internet. This girl was like, she was like a contortionist and she was like laying on her neck or something with her body all bent up. And then she, she like, there was a bottle sitting there and she just like reached over, casually grabbed it and was like, flip. I was like, you bitch. <laughs> I was like showing off with your contorticism and then like, oh, then you're going to, then you're going to do that as well. <laughs> Oh, speaking of internet memes, dude. Oh, geez, Remember the ice bucket challenge? Oh no. Yes, the ASL yeah. bucket challenge. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Exactly. So it did its job because obviously when you hear it, you think of ALS, right? Like <laughs> um I heard online the Is other day case? that part of the money they raised had was went into researching a drug for ALS and it is now about to come to market. Really? Uh, for uh, not it doesn't cure it, but it severely manages the symptoms of ALS. Okay. So so that actually like came around and like okay yeah the people were making because you were supposed you weren't just supposed to do the ice bucket challenge you were supposed to like donate, donate. money yeah 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 um as well as do the bucket yeah challenge. yeah exactly so but yeah it actually like actually came about how many of those things do you hear about they're like oh we're raising awareness and money for X and the next thing you know you're like whatever happened to that yeah whatever happened to X that's what I wonder what happens with those GoFundMe's. 
where people are like, I need money for X, Y, Z. And then you're like, I didn't hear any updates. Like, I think you, I mean, you got to follow up on some of that stuff yourself. Yeah. Like, obviously. oh, my buddy's kid needs <clears throat> braces. Did he ever get his braces? Yeah, bro, I don't we know. Raised I the, saw that kid. He was chomping on a gourd in the front yard looking like a hedgehog. We raised $50,000. I think that's braces money. Right? <laughs> For your kid. I think, think that's braces money. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely agree. But you do. You got to be careful who you donate to, Jonas, honestly. Oh, yeah. I'm less, I'm less likely to donate to a organization as much as I am to donate to, like, a person themselves. No, I agree. Well, here's, here's the other thing I think is kind of messed up. Like, I get the average person being like, hey, this unexpected thing came up. If anyone can help out, whatever. Yeah. But when I see, like, famous people doing, like, GoFundMes, I'm like, bruh, you got connections. Why are you asking the common man to help pay for your ish? Yeah. Like, come on. Like, I don't I don't really get that. That's kind of... I mean, there's a chance you can get the money. That's really what you need. <laughs> I don't know what other understanding you need. I don't know if I... Even if... I don't know if I... If, even if I needed it, I don't know if I'd ever do that. I don't think I could beg my friends and family for money. No. That's essentially what you're doing. Yes. yes. Like, you're putting it out in, like, a way that's, like, very, like, acceptable now. Like, you would never back in the day just call up all your friends and be like, can you give me 20 bucks? I got, my car broke down. But now you're going to be like, I need $1,000 to fix my car and I can't get to work. Can you help me? It's like you play on everybody's emotions hoping that they'll give you money. I mean, that's what, that's what most organizations do anyway, right? They try to play on your emotions. I mean, you're not wrong. They invite you to a symposium and they show you, they parade some people who are exhibiting some issues from said illness, whatever it may be. And they're like, hey. Oh my God. Is it like a timeshare presentation? It kind of is, man. <laughs> It kind of is. Timeshare your family and friends. Bro, timeshares are the worst. Dude. You're like, hey, free food. We'll give you $500 for the casino. And all you got to do is sit through four hours of timeshare. And then you have, like, and then you'll deal with like the nice guy, then the harsher guy, then yeah. like the mafia guy comes yeah. in. He's like, oh, you're signing the paperwork, right? And you're like, no, no, no. But like, here's the yeah, thing. You know, but here's the there. thing. And, I, and, and, and it's interesting. I've never done one. I would a thousand percent. Oh, because I'm, I'm pretty... Stubborn. Oh, dude, I what actually just had someone telling me yesterday that they're like, and they were like, I'm not going to push you because I know you, the more you get pushed, the harder you dig your feet into the sand that you're not going to do it. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. If I don't want to yeah. do it and you try to convince me, yeah. there's a 10,000% less chance yes. I'm going to do it. Yes. I'm just like, going to start laughing in your face at some point. Yeah. Here. But, but here's my thing. You're at, you're at a, you're at a timeshare, right? They prey on weak people. Yes. Because here's the thing. If I don't want to do it. You've you've legally bound to give me this stuff. Yep. You can't hold me hostage. No. So I can be like, hey, I want to leave. Where's my stuff? But you gotta I'm ready to leave now. Where's my stuff? <laughs> and what what can they say? Not but they no. get weak ass people in there who are like, oh, but but do it. Come on, let's just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Sign it over. Sign it over. Sign and they're like, I, I, okay. And then they're like, what did I just do? Nothing. Here's your 500 bucks. Yep. Thanks thank for you. giving us 35,000. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> dude, it's, I, it's dude, I kind of want to do one. I kind of do too. Like, I'm like, uh, like, it's just, I mean, yeah, they act all mad and whatever, but like, what do I care, dude? Like, yeah. what do I care if this dude's mad? I don't. Like, he we knows should. that I'm, I hey. just want the tickets to see Frank Sinatra. Let's He's definitely, dead, let's, but. let's definitely plan a Vegas trip and do, do a timeshare or two. Dude, for the free stuff, dude. We'll just pretend that we're that we're lovers. <laughs> Jesus, man, <laughs> who's pretending? <laughs> right? Uh, no, dude, but yeah. I, I just, dude, I like. I think, dude, we could talk. It would be a great experience to talk about on the podcast. I agree. Can we secretly record it? Uh, I don't see why we couldn't. We could like audio record it. Yeah, like they have our phones on recording the audio and listen to them. Yeah, like, like, so we can expose their tactics, <laughs> dude. <laughs> anyway, actually a great idea. <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.